the Buddha, by cultivating, developing, purifying his mind, he gained enlightenment. Many people actually do not know what is enlightenment. Very loosely they use this word, enlightenment. So one day, when the Buddha was going somewhere, he met a Brahmin. I think you know the meaning of Brahmin, the Hindu priest, teacher, master, guru, for everything. They are called Brah Brahmana. He has never seen another human being like this person. So he could not believe that this is a human being. He came and asked, may I know whether you are a god? The Buddha says, no, I am not a god. Others try to claim they are god or messenger of god or son of god. The Buddha says, no, I am not a god. Then he asked, in that case, may I know whether you are any other form of supernatural living being? He said, no, I am very natural. <laughs> <laughs> then he asked, in that case, are you an ordinary human being? No. Now confusing in his mind who this person is. Then, yeah, then who are you? Uh, the Buddha gave the answer. This answer is very important for us to know, to understand who the Buddha is. If somebody come and ask you, now you follow the Buddha, can you tell me actually who the Buddha is? But I don't think you can give correct answer. You say something, this self-introduction given by the Buddha is very meaningful. We can understand why he is called enlightened one. He said in his own language, <coughs> Abhinyayang Abhinyatang. I understood everything that which exists in this universe. Bhavetabhancha Bhavita. I have practiced all the great qualities, virtues, morals, principles, and good qualities in this world. Pahatabhang Pahinang Me. I have eradicated, uprooted all the wicked, cruel, harmful, immoral thought words and action. Tasma buddho brahmana. Therefore, I am not a god, not an angel, not an ordinary man, I am the Buddha. Ah, this is the meaning of the Buddha or enlightenment. Buddha is not his name. Buddhi in Sanskrit Pali languages means wisdom. Buddhi. Buddha means person who got that supreme enlightenment. That person is called the Buddha. So, you can understand how difficult it is for a person to develop his mind to know everything that which exists in this universe. He has not done this within one lifetime. Life after life, by practicing parami or perfection, he went on cultivating, developing, knowing, understanding all the existing things. That is why the Buddhas are very rare. Now, 2,500 years ago, Sakyamuni, the Buddha appeared. 
but we do not know how many thousands or how many millions of years we had to wait to see another Buddha. That is the most difficult task in this world, becoming a Buddha. Cultivate all the great qualities, virtues, principles, morals, and eradicate all the evil, wicked, cruel, harmful, immoral things. Take for instance how difficult it is. Now all of us have jealousy. Jealousy is very minor weakness. We know we never gain anything because of our jealousy. We create very bad atmosphere, we create enemies for nothing. Even then, can we completely eradicate the jealousy from our mind within one lifetime? There's no one who can do that. Here, Bodhisattva, before becoming a Buddha, he is called Bodhisattva. Bodhisattva means Bodhi means wisdom, sattva means person. Person who was working to gain supreme wisdom is called bodhisattva. So as a bodhisattva, life after life he went on developing, developing, cultivating, eradicating, eradicating evil things. Then purified the mind. It is impossible for us to find out another human being who has purified his or her mind. Can behave as cultured, understanding, kind, honest person. But the evil thought, the roots of the evil thoughts are in the mind. Circumstances, environment, temptation, irritation, flare-up. One of those evil thoughts which are dominating in our mind. Therefore, it is not so easy to purified our mind. But he said, his mind is completely purified. The purity of the mind and the supreme wisdom, knowledge, understanding, realization he had combined together. Then the brightness is there. In his first sermon, Dhamma Chakka Sutta, the Buddha says, Aloko Udapadi, brightness arose in his mind that he never had before. In our mind, there is no brightness because mind is in the dark. There are so many dark clouds around our mind. Greed, selfishness, anger, jealousy, grudge, ill will, all these are dark cloud moving around our mind. Therefore, mind is in the dark. That is why we cannot understand, we cannot see things properly. We create our own imagination, wrong concept, wrong belief, wrong ideas, because we cannot see the reality in life or anything that which exists. <coughs> so the Buddha has done this. Then after gaining enlightenment, he advised. There were sixty arahantas. Arahanta means those who have completely purified their mind. They are perfect saints. 
They are not enlightened. They are perfect saint. He said, Charata bhikkave charikam bahujana hitaya bahujana sukhaya lokanukampaya atthaya hitaya sukhaya deva manusana. This is the first missionary religion in this world. Buddhism is the first missionary religion. After training these sixty arahantas, the Buddha said, Charata bhikkhave charika. Now go forth, go out. Two persons should not go together, individually, one by one, to spread all over the country. Bahujana Hitaya, for the well-being of others. It is your duty to guide, to correct, show them the correct path, how to lead a respectable, harmless life. Bahujana Hitaya. Bahujana Sukhaya, for the happiness of others. Many people are worrying and crying and lamenting and whole day and night, not knowing what to do. But you must go out and try to make them to understand the nature of their problems and troubles and difficulties that they are facing. Bahujana Sukhaya. Bahujana Hitai must have sympathy, kindness, compassion toward them and guide them to lead a respectable life. Uh, this is the mission that the Buddha wanted to introduce. He did not want to introduce a religion. He did not want to introduce Buddhism. He wanted to introduce how to lead a respectable, harmless, noble life. Oh, that is the main purpose of his message.